Hi folks, it's great to uh, be here to preach tonight and uh, to actually like speak in my own, in my own church. Uh, it's not taken for granted, but well, thanks for the opportunity. Um, I've called this testifying to the power in the word of God because uh, as Christians, sometimes we don't attain to reading uh, as much as we should, um, which should be done uh, daily. I was raised in a family uh, and in a religion who rely on works to get to heaven. Um, baptism, Holy Communion, uh, church attendance, confirmation, and trying my best. I was raised Roman Catholic. Uh, and was very staunch in my faith, uh, thinking it would be works to get to heaven, like baptism, Holy Communion, confirmation, helping out after chapel, uh, all these things, praying the rosary before going to sleep, until I read, and, and this is very important, reading the Word of God, a man said to me, uh, I, I, got confront, well, I, I confronted a, a street preacher, and he said, uh, you must be born again. And then he quoted to me Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. And then he said to go and read the Bible because I, 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 I didn't believe what he said. And whenever I read Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, that for by grace you are saved through faith, not of yourselves a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. That spoke to me, but it took me to read it, to get that uh, to sink in. Um, my works couldn't save me. It was through faith in Christ that saved now that's why Bible reading is so vital, especially for saved people. Now, I started reading it as an unsaved person, and by the time I read through the Bible cover to cover, for the first time, I was saved. Um, Acts 17, 11, I hold to very dearly. It says, search the scriptures daily, and that's what we must do. Um, I just want to ask a question now. Who all has eaten today? Hands up. Have you eaten today? Is anybody not eaten today? Maybe that's a personal question. Get her also a sandwich. No, my dear. <laughs> uh, the reason I ask that is because I, I read Matthew 4.4 4 and Luke 4.4 4, and it says that we shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. More or less nobody here skipped eating today. So we shouldn't skip reading the Word of God either. Uh, John 1.14 shows that Christ is the Word made flesh, which dwelt among us. And how can you really know the Lord Jesus deeply if you're not reading the Scriptures daily? If the, the Bible, if it is read and applied, is really life transforming, um, it's possible uh, and should be a basis to, to even read the, through the Bible once a year, that's three chapters a day, 15 minutes a day. Wake up 15 minutes earlier, read it before bed. It's, it's vital to do that. Um, the Bible's a lamp on their feet and a light on their path. It directs us. We grow by it. You know, don't stay babes in Christ. Go from the milk of the word to the meat of the word. Um, it it uh, it will cleanse us as well uh, and, and God uh, can create in us a clean heart reading the Bible helps us to rightly divide the word of truth when we study to show ourselves approved unto God um, Bible reading if Bible, lead, if Bible reading is left out then false doctrine creeps in we see that with many churches right across the country and, and they just listen to the man at the front preach and take it on uh, as gospel when really they should be studying after the service or even in the coming days to see if it's, it, it's accurate, biblically accurate. Um, therefore, Bible reading is essential for Bible-believing Christians. So I hope that, you know, I'm not here to condemn or to make people feel weak if they, if they aren't up to scratch on that, but I'm my fourth time reading through the scriptures. Um, and you get new stuff all the time. You never finish reading the Bible. So it's a, it, I hope this convicts people to really read the Bible and be challenged. And I hope that whenever you read it and you apply it, 
that's when the change really happens. So I hope that encourages you and uh, challenges you as well. Well, thank you.